Hello world, welcome back to Razer RSD. So I just uh, got a chance to run my Arma Korean EXP today at my little local bash spot. Wanted to give you my thoughts on it. It did end in a breakage, so I'll cover that as well. And then I've got some running footage of the run uh, after this. But I'm first gonna just talk about my Arma Korean and my initial thoughts. Um, this comes as a roller, obviously. So electronics wise, I'm running like pretty budget stuff. So it's pretty inexpensive, but you know, decent performing. I'm running like a cheap, like clone spectrum like sr3100 clone receiver something it's like 10 or 15 bucks um, i'm running a power hd servo there's a 23 kilogram uh, centimeter servo which translates to about 340 350 ounce inches of torque and it's pretty fast as well it goes about 0.12 seconds or so uh, and it costs like 40 bucks or something from amazon I'm running a Quick Run 8 ESC, so this is basically a Hobby Wing uh, rebranded ESC, also fairly uh, inexpensive. It's about 100 bucks, 90 bucks, uh, 80 bucks, depending on how uh, you pick one of these up. And then I'm running just a Hobby Star uh, 40 by 76 millimeter can motor. This is a 1700 kV, so this sells for like 55 bucks or so. So all the electronics all together, you know, costs under 200 bucks, probably like one, I don't know, 180 or so. Uh, but yeah, it works totally fine, no issues. So I ran this on 4S. Um, out of the box, I did make some minor adjustments to the vehicle. So I set the toe on the front end, so the steering, and for whatever reason, the, the front wheels weren't straight. They were kind of towed out a little bit. So I don't know if that's intentional, but I generally don't run any toe. I just set my uh, front wheels straight. And then the rear diff felt like super light. Uh, basically a lot of free spinning on there on the back. So I thickened the, the oil on that. I opened it up and it was about a quarter full. I refilled it with uh, 10K, which is like the stock uh, fluid. And uh, yeah, that ran fine. So uh, other than that, uh, pretty much completely stock. No other extra parts or anything. Um, so initial thoughts, uh, it's really fun truck. Um, not super fast with the 1700 kV motor on 4S, you know, definitely gonna run 6S next time. Could use a little more speed. Um, this is more of a torque type of motor rather than like a high revving, high RPM, high speed motor. Um, but yeah, it is enough to get this thing moving. Uh, it is a heavy truck, uh, drives through, you know, the terrain pretty easily. Pretty fun because it's just big, it just drives through everything. And then it's also pretty easy to drive actually. Uh, no issues controlling this thing um, in the air, on the ground. It just, you know, I don't even think I flipped it once except when I broke it, um, if I remember correctly. So yeah, just a super easy to drive, fun truck. Um, very capable as well. The shock suspension tuning seemed pretty good. The rear end was slapping a little bit. I'll have to check the fluids on that. Maybe the shocks are not completely flu full of fluid, but uh, it is supposed to be running 80 weight front and rear with the 1.2 millimeter uh, pistons up front and the 1.3 millimeter pistons in the rear. So it shouldn't really uh, chassis slap too much. It did seem a little under damped in the back. Springs feel pretty good. Um, steering wise, it understeers a little bit. Now, um, the servo is totally fine, but I did notice that the servo spring still feels a little bit weak. And I also noticed that they actually upgraded the servo spring from the regular uh, RTR version of the crane. So the regular RTR crane has like a hard servo spring. They upgraded this to the extra hard, but in my opinion, still a little soft. You know, I would have liked something a little bit stiffer. Um, I guess they make that to protect your servo, but I think the servo could handle even more uh, stiffness on the servo saver. It does tend to give still a little bit mid corner um, under, you know, not even like a ton of traction, but uh, just medium traction. You know, the, the, you'll see the wheels kind of giving in the middle of the corner as you're just trying to arc around. So uh, could use a little bit stiffer uh, servo spring. Uh, did manage to do a backflip off just a little jump. Ran it in the grass as well. And then uh, the one breakage I had is on the steering knuckle. Not really sure what happened. Well, I know what happened. It, I landed this thing basically on its side on like two wheels like that. And then, um, yeah, the basically the pillow ball just uh, pulled through the actual knuckle here. Um, I just unscrewed everything, put it back together, but it does look like there's a little crack right here on the top. So I did order up some knuckles. These are pretty cheap. It's like eight bucks for a set of two, so uh, not an expensive repair, but I was kind of surprised it pulled through. I wasn't surprised that it broke, but I was just kind of surprised how it pulled through like that. Um, and then I checked the other side, that also looks like it's got a tiny crack forming, so I don't know if it's just me or if there's a real crack there, but uh, most likely, I suspect if it pulled through once, 
it'll pull through again. So um, yeah, a little bit bit of a disappointment. Um, didn't crash it that bad, you know, about five foot uh, jump that I landed on two wheels, not even on the one corner. So um, anyways, body was uh, held up fine, no issues there. Um, really good looking truck though i really like the black body and the sorry the red accents it looks really mean looks really evil looks you know really cool actually uh, good looking truck overall so um tires wise uh yeah plenty of traction um the surface i was at is like this really rocky sort of hard and dusty surface so it's really hard to get traction in general but these work fine no issues there um, grass obviously is tons of traction um, and then overheating wise no issues this is running at like 113 degrees or so um, yeah I could definitely gear this thing up I'm running a 14 tooth uh, pinion gear uh, I could run 16 tooth but I'm gonna run this on 6s next time so we'll see how it goes with 14 teeth and uh, if it's not overheating, then I'll, I'll probably try 16. But yeah, overall, really fun truck. Um, I like it. It's cool. And uh, yeah, besides that one little break, we'll, hopefully that will not be a recurring problem. But um, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, anyways, uh, check out this running video. And uh, thanks for watching. Definitely like, share, subscribe. And uh, tune in for more videos soon.